Pretty much every time I open up the eBay app to check comps, I see other resellers making an easily avoidable mistake over and over again, and it's costing them a ton of money. In fact, this mistake is so prevalent, it changes the market value of items on eBay, making them appear to be way less valuable than they really are. And this mistake is completely avoidable. Yes, it's 2023, and many eBay sellers are still running auctions. Now, don't get all bent out of shape. Of course, there are times when it makes sense to use an auction. However, those times are few and far between. But what are those times? When does it make sense to use an auction? If you're primarily selling things that you find at garage sales or at thrift stores, there's a good chance you're losing out on a ton of money and putting yourself through a lot of unnecessary pain by listing your items on eBay as auctions. Instead, you should be using eBay's fixed price format, which they call buy it nows. And if you're already using buy it nows all the time, that's great, you should keep doing that. But stick around and I'll tell you exactly when you should be using auctions instead, because sometimes that really is the best choice. If you're a new seller on eBay, this is especially important because scammers prey on new sellers and how you list your item on eBay, whether it's an auction or a buy it now or whether you use best offers, that's going to make your listings more susceptible to scams. Before we dig in, I wanted to thank each and every one of my new subscribers. There's been a lot of y'all coming in over the last week and I can't thank you enough for watching my videos and leaving such heartfelt comments. Um, it's just really incredible to read and to know that I'm making a positive impact on your life and on your business. So thank you so much for your support. I'd also like to make a special shout out to Josh and Haley from Harry Tornado. Y'all were nice enough to share one of my videos on your community page, which brought a lot of new visitors over to my channel. Thank you so much. Y'all are class acts. I really appreciate it and tell Moe's I said hi. And finally, thank you to my nine-year-old daughter, Isla, who made me this incredible cake to celebrate a thousand subscribers, which I hit last weekend. Thank you so much, Isla. I love you. Go to bed. All right, let's get back on track. You see, way back in 1995, before eBay was even called eBay, it was called Auction Web, and it was entirely auction-based. A Canadian guy named Mark, this guy, was the first person to win an auction on eBay. He bought a broken laser pointer. Five years later, in November of 2000, eBay launched what is now known as the Buy It Now listing type, which meant users no longer had to bid on an item to buy it, they could just buy it instantaneously. Over time, Buy It Nows have become the dominant listing type on eBay. Ebay. But there are plenty of sellers who continue to make the mistake of using auctions for nearly everything that they sell instead of using buy it nows. How come after so many years, sellers continue to make this mistake? I'm not really sure why, but I have a hunch. I think it has something to do with eBay's brand almost being synonymous with the term auction. You think eBay, you think auction. You see, way back when, eBay was filled with quirky and strange items that were literally available nowhere else on the internet all on auction, of course. The internet was relatively new, and finding that unique item that you just had to have was an experience on its own. The only way you could get it is by setting an alarm clock and going to battle with 500 other buyers who were also trying to get it on auction. As for sellers during that time, well, it was also exciting too to see a bunch of buyers coming together and bidding your item up to astronomical prices. Obviously, things have changed since then. The rise of online shopping and Amazon's dominance, buyer expectations and behaviors started to shift eBay wasn't the only player in the space anymore, and it needed to change its strategy in order to remain competitive. And so to compete, it introduced the Buy It Now listing format, and what was once a quirky marketplace started to slowly turn into a more generic online marketplace like Amazon. But despite that shift in strategy, I think that the sentiment of eBay and the brand equity of eBay was still really directly associated with auctions. In so many people's heads, eBay equals auction. And so a lot of new sellers come to the platform and think that's the way that you sell your item. Or sellers mistakenly think that just because they put their generic item up on auction, it's gonna create a sudden demand and buyers are gonna get into a bidding war and they're gonna shoot the price sky high, well above the market value, which maybe that happens occasionally, but it's definitely not very often. So. Why is it such a mistake to use auctions? Let me tell you. The biggest problem with auctions are around buyer expectations. Think of the largest e-commerce platforms on the internet, whether that's Amazon or Walmart or Apple. Most buyers don't wanna wait several days for an auction to end to maybe have the chance to buy their item. They wanna buy it right away. How would you feel as a customer if every time you needed to buy dog food, you had to go on Amazon and compete in a bidding war with 800 other people? Nobody wants that experience. They just wanna place their order and move on with their day and the eBay of today is no different. The second problem with auctions is that a buyer can bid on your item and win it and then just 
just decide to never pay, which happens way, way too often. And there are basically no major repercussions for a buyer who does this. So when you run an auction, you're faced with this ongoing cycle of listing your item, waiting five to seven days for the auction to end, and hopefully someone bids on it and buys it. And if they do, but they don't pay, then you wait another couple of days until you can open up an unpaid listing case against it. When that's finally settled, you can then relist the item and go through that whole cycle again. It's annoying and it's frustrating and it's completely unnecessary. And for the vast majority of products sold on auction, they're going to yield a way lower sale price than they would if you just put it up as a buy it now. Here, I'll toss out a few examples, but I suggest you go check it out on eBay yourself. You'll see evidence of it all over the place. Take this Apple keyboard, for example. Comps show that it regularly sells on fixed list pricings for between $30 and $40. However, this auction yielded under $10. Or take these Lululemon leggings as another example. These leggings typically go for like $25, $35, $40, $40, but here they ended on auction for 99 cents. That buyer got a great deal. Or this Legend of Zelda 2 NES game, which typically goes for $25 to $35, sold on auction for only five. So as I said, your default choice when you're listing a new item should almost always be a buy it now. When you're ready to list your item, you should check all of the active listings to get an idea of the supply and the active market value. You should then check all of the sold listings to get an idea of demand and the sold market value. This will give you an idea of how you should price your item using a buy it now listing type. And 99% of your listings, you should be doing that exact thing. But when should you use an auction? Well, you really should only do that when three conditions are met. The first condition is that it's difficult to determine a market value. Some things are just hard to price. Maybe there's no data on eBay. Maybe you're checking active listings and sold listings. You're checking Terapeak to go back into two years of history. Maybe you're even checking worth point and not finding it there. The point is it's hard to determine a market value. That's a good sign that maybe this is a good opportunity to use an auction. Or maybe it's because the market value changes rapidly for this individual item, or there's something about it that impacts its value in a major way, like its condition or its providence. But if the market value is very easy to determine by checking active and sold listings, that probably means it's not a good candidate for auctions. Say it was hard to determine the value, it now must meet the second condition, which is the supply. To be a good candidate for auctions, the supply for an item needs to be pretty low. If there's like 500 other active listings for your item, all with a pretty well-known market value, that's a really good sign that it's not gonna do well on auction. But let's say that the supply is relatively low, then what? Well, it must also meet the third condition, which is demand. There's got to be enough buyers out there who are interested enough in this product to justify using an auction. Otherwise, you're just going to put the auction up and you may get zero bids or maybe even one bid. You're not going to create any sort of like bidding war environment if the demand is just not there. So you check demand by pulling up eBay and looking at the number of sold listings. Again, compare that to the number of active listings to get a good idea of supply versus demand. If the supply is very low and the demand is very high, that's a sign that it could be a a good candidate for an auction. And the best auctions are when all three conditions are met. The supply is low, the demand is high, and the market value is really hard to determine. Here's a few examples. Here's a lot of mixed cell phones. This is a really good example because it's hard to determine the value. The condition of the phones are mixed. So some are working, some are broken, the brands are different, the models are different. Yes, you could comp out each one of them and check the used value or the four parts value for each and add them all up and give a fixed price, but this is the type of auction where the demand is very high and the supply is probably also pretty high, but the market value is unknown and you can see it went for a pretty good price. Or check out this autographed racing suit. So the supply here is very low. This is like a one of a kind item and the demand is very high because it's a celebrity. It's someone that everyone knows. It's a great example of a product that'll do really well on auction because that supply is low and the demand is high and who knows what it's actually worth. It'd be really hard to pick out a value. And this is the type of thing that you just see people bid up and up and up like they did. Or another example is this Doors record. Again, this is a very rare item. Uh, it's a first pressing. It's even not even just a first pressing, but it's a mono pressing of it. It's not even in stereo. So the supply here again is very low. There's also a lot of subjectivity in this one because of the condition. Very, you know, people who are buying records are very specific about the condition of the record itself or the sleeve or the insert. And so putting this up on auction is going to be good because again, that supply is very low. The demand is very high and the market 
market value is hard to determine because of how subjective it can be. Again, the best auctions are when those three conditions are met. The supply is high, the demand is low. Actually, that's not right, it's the opposite. The supply is low, the demand is high, and the market value is really hard to determine. By the way, just because I'm telling you not to use auctions as a seller doesn't mean you shouldn't be using auctions on eBay as a buyer. In fact, it's a great way to find other products to resell on eBay for super cheap. There are tons of resellers out there who source exclusively on eBay only to turn around and flip it on eBay again using a buy it now listing. I don't do that myself, so I don't have a whole lot of advice to give you if you're interested in that, but I'm sure there are other YouTubers out there who do and who can give you much better advice than I can. If you know any of them, share them in the comments. I'd like to learn as well. All right, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Hopefully you know a little bit more about auctions and when to use them, which is basically never. If you enjoyed this video, consider liking, consider subscribing. I do a video each week where I talk about my reselling business or how to optimize your reselling business. In fact, I just put a video out a few weeks ago about how I sold $82,000 last year on eBay part-time. So if that sounds interesting to you, check it out. I'll put it up here. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.